Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Darius back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about stemming words. So we'll be using three types of stemmers. So there exist actually four stemmers, and uh, one of them will one of them is probably a regular expression stemmer. So before that, what is stemming? So stemming is quite simple. So let's open up Python. So let's say I have a word called cooking, and the stem of it will be cook. So cookware, uh, the stem of it will again be cook or let's say let's not take cook where let's take cookery so the stem of it will be cook right so cooks will also have the stem as cook and so on so you get the picture so basically stem of a word is almost similar to a lemma but it is there are differences which i'll be talking about in the next video which will focus on lemmas all right so how do you actually convert the a word which I just supply randomly into its stem, you know, how do you do that? So for that we have something called stemmers. So these are these helpers in stemming uh, a particular word. So let's get started and let's see how you can uh, actually use that. So let's say you type, I mean, you need to actually import these things called port, porter stemmer. Porter stemmer is probably the uh, most popular stemmer out there. Uh, so porter stemmer is the stemmer which will help us in stemming words so at the same time also uh, import something else called lancaster stemmer because i'll be using that as well and again after this uh, you can also import something called regex stemmer right so there's another one more thing called snowball stemmer so snowball stemmer which is used for languages other than uh, english right and one more thing is that uh, snowball stemmer is also sometimes called as the second porter so porter 2 stemmer because uh, it, it is almost uh, it, it, it works almost like the porter stemmer the original one original one anyways when you come to stemming there is something called aggressive being an aggressive uh, stemmer which means that you cut down the words uh, quite aggressively so you you convert them to uh, forms that are not recognizable by humans everyday humans at least so let's get started so how you call the stemmers is that let's uh, work with porter stemmer first so i create a variable called p stemmer or as uh, you can call it p s t m so let's say p s t m so okay uh, i'll just uh, we'll just use p stemmer is equal to porter stemmer so porter stemmer that we just uh, you know you just uh, import it and after this what you do is you just apply it on uh, any word that you want so let's say dancing so as you can see over here we have a stem called danc that's it and there is no e as well so uh, similarly what you can do is you can search for dancer and you see that it is not stemming your er all right so similarly what you can do is uh, you can say dance but dance is again uh, coming out as danc all right so you can find out what happens uh, when you call it for cooking. So let's see what happens. So we get cook. And when, when I say cookery, I get cookery with an I. So this is, uh, some, this is a feature of uh, P-Stemmer. So I'm not sure if that is right or not. But this is how you can actually use, I mean, you can classify a lot of words. So P-Stemmer is generally called uh, P-Stemmer, which is Porter Stemmer. Porter stemmer is generally called as the least uh, aggressive of all these, uh, you know, uh, stemming operations or whatever stemmers that you get. There is another one called Lancaster stemmer. So how you how Lancaster works is like this. I mean, you just uh, again create another variable called L stemmer, and you just say Lancaster stemmer is the method, and you can use it. So you can just say L stemmer dot stem, just like the previous one. And you can say dancing all right so as you can see over here we have something called d-a-n-t dant which is not exactly d-a-n-c so this is how l stemmer works so lancaster stemmer is generally known to be one of the most i mean it is the most uh, aggressive stemmer of our time so uh so if you have dance it will again convert to dant so some of these forms are not re readily recognizable by us but it is you know useful for uh you know stemming a lot of words if, if at all your data is quite big so let's say you're working on a very very big uh, data size then uh, more than your porter stemmer lancaster stemmer comes to your rescue or 
you know, it is much useful because it will work on a lot of words. It is quite fast, but the problem is that it will convert these. It is quite aggressive as well. It will convert all these into various forms. So else demo, let us uh, use it on cookery and see what happens. So as you can see over here, we have cookery over here. So this is how it works. And similarly, lastly, what I would like to show is a uh, regular expression stemmer. So regex uh, where you can use a lot of kind, I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, whatever kind of, uh, so we already imported something called regex stemmer. So we can, uh, we can call this as R stemmer is equal to reg X stemmer with the word called ing. So what, uh, what happens is it will remove all kinds of ing and just supply us the, uh, you know, remaining word. So let's say uh, R stemmer dot stem and I just say skiing. So let's see what happens. So we get ski. But uh, if, if I give it dancing, so it gives me D-A-N-C. But at the same time, uh, if I give certain other words, which are like uh, king, it'll only give me K and so on. So let's see what happens with... All right, so else demo won't uh, give uh, me K. It'll just give me the king because it knows it's a word of itself and it's not a verb. So this is how regex stemmer, uh, regex stemmer works. So you can have a lot of types of uh, regex stemmer. So you can call uh, R stemmer on anything of your choice. So you can use it for anything. So you can say ER as well. And if you give R stemmer dot stem, and let's say writer. So what it does is it will give you WRIT. So one thing uh, you, didn't, you need to keep in your mind is that uh, you shouldn't, uh, you know, you shouldn't actually uh, use regex, regex stemmer until, you know, you have actually a, a pretty small data set to work with or you're quite sure of the results that you'll be getting. So focus majorly on Porter stemmer for use and uh, also uh, your Lancaster stemmer. So that, that, that should do. And remember, Lancaster can be used for data, which is uh, quite high in size because it is quite aggressive and it is quite fast as well. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I'll be talking about something else in the next video, probably lemmatization. So we'll be talking about that. Uh, so I'll see you there. Until then, uh, stay tuned and keep watching my videos. Also, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, uh, I mean, also share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank <laughs> you.